Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a little Mother's Day tribute to my mom and she was the one who introduced me to Chanel Beauty at a very young age and I thought it would be fun to do a get ready with me using all my favorite Chanel products as well as a few picks that I actually think my mom would have loved. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look using a full face of Chanel Beauty products then let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone, and happy Mother's Day. As I said, we're gonna do a little tribute to my mama. She passed three years ago, but she is a big part of the reason why I am even on YouTube today. She created this monster, or as I like to say, beauty junkie. And when I was 16, for my sweet 16 birthday, my mom took me to the Chanel counter and got me a makeover. And then she bought me a bunch of goodies. And I have to say that is still one of my favorite birthdays ever. And that's why I have a little bit of a sweet spot for Chanel because that was the brand that my mom loved and my entry into luxury beauty. So today I thought I would do a get ready with me using some of my favorite Chanel products and share a few little stories about my mom, Juliet. So we are going to go ahead and start with my favorite base. And I actually have two foundations that I absolutely love and recommend to everyone. And the first one is the Le Beige. This is the Water Fresh Tint. And I love this product because it is also multi-purpose. So you can use this as a primer. You can use this as your foundation and you can even freshen up your makeup and use this as well. So usually if I'm having a good skin day, I really like using this water fresh tint because it is very angelic on the skin. It really does plump up your face and it's going to give you a nice sheer coverage perfect for this upcoming spring summer months. Now, now I just got a fabulous facial at Luxatilly A so I'm not necessarily feeling like I need to use this as a primer but I did want to go ahead and use my ultimate favorite foundation from Chanel, but also in general. And this is the number one de Chanel. This launched a few months back. And you guys, this is amazing. I think it is going to be a perfect foundation for like everyone. And I've been working on my top five luxury foundations, sharing those, and this is included. So give you a little heads up. I just love this. It is a nice medium foundation. It is going to give your skin a nice radiant finish, but it is not going to be too dewy. So I think that my oily skin friends can use this as well. And it just is a beautiful foundation. So I'm going to use this today and you can clearly use these in combination. I'm just not feeling like I need that extra glow today. So I'm going to go ahead and take a pump of this. I have this in the shade BR32. And give you a little swatch just like that. And I'm going to just put some of this on my skin. This just wears beautifully as well. I just think it was a really good launch from Chanel. This does include the red camellia oil. That is the highlight of that entire number one line. And I just love this foundation. So when in doubt, this is the one that I have been grabbing for, for months. Okay. 
And here is what this foundation looks like. That is one pump on the skin. And I'm hoping you can see I've got a little bit of radiance peeking through, but it also gives me nice medium coverage. It is very hydrating. I feel like it plumps up my skin. And this doesn't look or feel heavy on the skin. So we're gonna let this sit for a minute while I let it sink in and do its magic and move on to eyes. Okay, for eyes, I am going to use the new quad that just launched recently. And this is the Imaginaire Quad. I just love this color story. A nice wash of these peachy brown tones. And I love pairing it with a little bit of a navy eyeliner. I just feel like it makes your eyes pop a little bit. And I've actually been getting a ton of wear out of this quad. As I had mentioned when I reviewed this, this is not earth shattering. You probably have this already in your collection. But if you are looking for a comprehensive sort of beautiful wash of these peaches and bronze on the eyes, I just love this one. Okay, so I'm gonna share a little bit about my mama while I put on this eye quad. I'm gonna start with this soft peach tone down on the bottom. I'm gonna place that all over my lid. And my mom's name was Juliet, and she was quite the character. She grew up in a family of six, a big Catholic family, and we literally grew up two houses down from the house that she grew up on. So I always loved hearing her stories about her big, crazy family because they just always had all these adventures and such with that big of a family. And I'm gonna go into this deeper peach color here and I'm gonna to start to intensify the crease area. And my mom was lucky enough to get to go to the Sorbonne in Paris. She was very artistic, very creative, and she spent a year there learning art until her dad got sick and then she had to come back to Des Moines and had to take care of her dad. So the big emphasis for us girls, I have two sisters, was that she never got to complete college. So there was a big push for us girls to get our college educations, to travel as much as we possibly could. And honestly, it was just such a big like support system for me and my sisters, kind of pushing us to do a little bit more than we probably wanted to do. So and I'm gonna come into this shade over here and I'm gonna line close to the lash line the outer V and bring that into the crease too to really kind of intensify these brown tones. So since my mom spent that year in France, growing up, we had a lot of French influence. Like she brought back a crepe pan and one of our favorite meals was when she would make crepes for us. She knew how to make all of the good kind of crepes, the sweet and savory crepes. We loved egg souffle night. That was always fun, but she was a super good cook and a big proponent of Julia Childs. So grew up in a household that had a lot of that kind of French influence. And then she was such a good artist and had bought a bunch of you know, oil art supplies and such when she was in Paris and stuff. So she had her own little area in the basement where she would do a bit of her art. And that was her creative outlet. I am just taking a little bit of this shade here and bringing it into the crease. I'm going to lighten up the lid with that lighter little shimmer shade in just a minute, but I just kind of want to get a little bit of that warmer color 
down. But it doesn't need to be perfect because I am going to be adding a little pop of blue eyeliner with this look. But I am going to go up into this beautiful shimmery shade here. And I am going to put a little bit of that on that lid. Okay, so I just love to do a little wash of those peachy colors. And then I actually pulled out my Boy de Chanel eyeliner, and this is in navy, because the other day I used my coal in marine, and I've had a couple of you asking me where you can get it, and it is no longer available, but they do have the new eyeliner, I believe it's called Blue Jean, that I want to pick up myself. It looks super pretty, but it looks very similar to Marine, and I do wanna pick up a few of those new eyeliners as well. So if you have already picked those up, let me know. I would love to hear how they are, but this one is a bit of a thicker kind of eyeliner. And yes, this is in the men's collection, but I just love this navy eyeliner. We're gonna make this eye look a little bit more intense with this peachy bronze. So I am going to come in here and I am going to come near the lash line and wiggle between the lashes. I'm going to blend everything out. I am going to put a little bit on my lower lash line again. Blow, I will blend this out. So I'm just coming about a little bit here and then I'll use a brush to spread the rest underneath the eyes. It's going to be a smudgy look here. So I will take my definer smudger brush and I will soften this look, but it will be sort of a navy smudgy eye look. Take my fingers here and kind of lift this up just a bit. And once I put on mascara, it kind of grounds the eyes, but I just find that that navy pops the eyes. I love it along with that peachy tone. And for mascara, I'm gonna use my classic favorite that I have used for years, and this is Chanel Volume de Chanel. Always an amazing mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, then we'll move on to the rest of the face. Okay, next we're gonna use another longtime favorite product. And this is the Le Beige. This is the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. And I still love this stuff and I've been pulling it out more lately because it just warms up your skin so beautifully. So I am just taking my little, this is Westman Atelier Blender brush and I am going to warm up the skin with this cream bronzer. So nice. Okay, we have warmed up the skin with that cream bronzer. Just gives your skin a nice healthy kind of warmth, but it isn't over the top. And then I ended up pulling out a classic blush that I love, and this is in Rose Bronze. And this is a color that is just perfection in my eyes. It is just what it calls, it is just what it says. It's a really pretty rosy bronze, very neutral 
blush that just goes well with every eye look. So I thought I would just pull out one of the classics because their blushes truly are amazing. And that was one of the little items my mom picked up for me when I got my little makeover. And I want to say the color that I got, it was definitely in the rose tone. I feel like it was like Rose Ecred, maybe. I don't know if they would have had that exact name back in the day, but I just remember getting rose lip gloss, a rose blush, and feeling super special. So I'm going to take a bit of the Healthy Glow Powder here, and I'm going to be setting everything through the T-zone. I'm seeing a little bit of glow coming on, which is fine, but I definitely want to set the entire look, and I have this in number 20. forgot concealer, but I do love the new concealer. I have this in the shade B30, and this was reformulated recently. I may think they might have just expanded the shade range, but this is a really great gel-based concealer. And I'm just going to clean up underneath the eyes. I'm going to take the warmth of my fingers. And it's just a really nice texture. So if you have more mature eyes like myself, this one is really nice because I don't find that it sinks in terribly underneath my eyes. So I'm going to kind of brighten up underneath the eyes. Don't worry, I'm going to blend everything in. I can see it's looking much brighter, but it will become mesh all together. So I always like to do concealer after I've done my eyes because I feel like I can kind of clean up and make sure that my under eye eyeliner doesn't look too down pudding that I can lift it up just a bit. I'm just taking my La Mer buffing brush here and I just want to blend everything so it doesn't look harsh. Okay, for highlighter we're using one of my favorites and this is the Reve de Camellia. And this is just the perfect highlighter. It is a it is a rosy beige shade. I love putting this on my eyelids for a little extra pop. And I find that this gives my skin that healthy glow, but it also is just not too much. It comes with this adorable little kabuki brush and I will just stick it in just like that. And then we'll put some on the tops of my cheeks. I really love this so much. And again, you guys, this looks great just on your eyes like a single shadow. Like you can just put that on with a little bit of maybe eyeliner and mascara. Or if you don't need to wear eyeliner, then if you just use that with mascara, it's sort of a really clean eye look and then you could go with a more bold kind of classic Chanel um, red lip. Then I'm going to take my finger here just like that. It's so good and this is what I like to add to my eye look. I'll kind of work right above my iris just a bit. You'll see it is going to lighten that up in a good way. Kind of draw a little reflection on the eye. I'm going to use whatever's left and put that up in my brow bone. Just feel like that makes the whole eye look come together. So I actually think this is a must if you guys are looking for a good highlighter that is like 
ultimately one of my favorites. And then before moving on to lips, I am going to set my makeup with the Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. And this is so good, you guys. I'm really almost out. I keep on saying I am going to repurchase. And then this is where I like to use a little bit in my hair because it really does help with my frizzies. So you are going to set the face. It's just going to give your skin this really pretty glow. This is one of the best mist for like during the day if you want a little pick me up it just really does give you this kind of really pretty glow on the skin okay. for lips i'm going to be using my favorite lip liner from chanel and this is number 164 pavone and i'm going to just line my lips here and these are one of my favorite lip liners they're not quite as creamy as others but i actually kind of like that they're not dry, but they're just not too creamy either. So you have a lot of control with them. And for lipstick, I pulled out one of my favorite classics. This is Adrian, and Adrian is this gorgeous, perfect nude that isn't going to wash you out. Also, if I pair it with this lip liner, it definitely does not wash me out. And it is just the perfect nude color. And then to be a little extra, I love to top this with burnt sugar. And this will just kind of complete the overall look because this is sort of a burnt sugar peachy kind of look and and here is the lip combo that I have on I have the Pivone lip liner this is the burnt sugar this is Adrian and then this is burnt sugar and it will create a very nice neutral nude lip but with a little bit of extra oomph. It isn't too light. Okay, and then we are gonna finish with fragrance of the day. My mom was a big Chanel fragrance woman. She loved fragrances like Cristal, number 19, really into those fragrances, as well as the classic Chanel number five. Now I did pick up the new Leo, toilette in Paris, Paris. And you guys, first of all, I don't know if you can see, but it is pink and I am a sucker for pink fragrances. Just a light tinge of pink here. And this is said to be representing spring in Paris. And so when I saw this go live, I was like, I got to try it. I'm a big fan of this line. These are very soft everyday kind of fresh fragrances so I feel like they're kind of easy blind buys and this is a fresh and vibrant Chypre floral so this one does start out with a blast of citruses this has lemon and mandarin in here the top notes in here are going to be lemon citruses and pink pepper so there is a slight kick or sharpness to this. I couldn't figure it out if it was the patchouli or the pink pepper. This definitely has a little bit of sharpness in it when you first spray it out. Then in the middle notes, it contains damask rose as well as being on a bed of patchouli. So, so when I first sprayed this out, it had vibes like Coco Mademoiselle. This is that evening version. So to me, this reminded me of sort of a lighter and brighter version of Coco Mademoiselle, but with a punch of rose. Now, I wouldn't say this is like super rose dominant. So there is a note in here that is a bit sharper. I almost want to think that it might be the patchouli in here that is just a little bit more reminiscent of the Coco Mademoiselle, which I've worn back, which I had worn back in the day, but then that dissipates. But then you're left with a very pretty classic 
soft floral fragrance. So again, this entire line is all about being a little bit lighter and fresher. Like I always think of these as a great thing to pull out during the summer months because they just suit that time frame so well because you can just spray them all over and not be overwhelming, especially in the heat. And I would actually say this might be the strongest one out of all of them. Maybe Venice might be, but maybe Venice might be. I feel like that one's just a bit more warm, but this definitely has some presence to it out of the Leo toilettes. So I was so excited to give this Paris Paris a try. I will be honest, when I did first spray this out, I did get a slight hint of a headache and I was like, uh-oh. And that happens to me with the Coco Mademoiselle as well. Again, I used to be able to wear this back in the day but for some reason now my chemistry has changed as I have gotten older and that can happen to me with that scent. So maybe that's why I'm comparing this Paris Paris to a lighter version of that Coco Mademoiselle but there is something that is a little reminiscent to it and I did not get a full-blown headache from this. It did settle down onto the skin and then it was a very pretty scent but if I was going to pick one for my mom. The one that I know that she would love would be 1957. And the reason I would pick this scent for her because this one is going to open with those classic Chanel aldehydes that she loved. She loved all those kind of aldehydic fragrances like white linen and the Clinique Aromatic Elixir. There's that one that is really cool. It's like 1971. She really loved those kind of fragrances. 1957 is just such a beautiful soft floral, but it opens with this champagne touch. Those aldehydes open up. It is sparkly. It is sophisticated. It is slightly clean feeling. This is so perfect for summer, you guys. And then it dries down into a really soft, beautiful floral. There is iris in here. There is jasmine, a little layer of orange blossom, but the florals are very light and floaty. And I just know that she would love that aldehyde hit right at the beginning of this fragrance. A little glass of champagne in a bottle. That's how I like to describe this. Fresh and classy. And that would be my pick for myself today as well as my mom. And this is one of my top favorites from the Le Exclusive line from Chanel. Okay guys, this is the finished look. A little tribute to my mom, Juliet. I know she would have loved everything except the lipstick. She would have gone with a coral shade that was her favorite kind of lipstick. So what I will do is I will pick out a coral Chanel lipstick. I don't know if I actually own one. I'm thinking of a clot. I'm thinking in the classic one, there is one called a clot that is more in that coral pink that I think she would love. So I will list that down below in the description box, but thank you for coming along with a bit of a more chatty get ready with me. I want to say happy Mother's Day to all you lovely mamas out there and I hope you enjoy your day.